all be welcome to Gura Trans. Uh, to gener generate a common understanding what the goal is, where are we heading? Past, present and future, attitude and commitment. That's uh, really what I think uh, the world of sports could bring to any company. I believe the involvement for any company in a sport event is a tool for communicating with the staff, with customers, with the general public in a way that is sort of without threats. You know, it's an interest, it's a perception thing instead. You get into people's brain, if you want it, <laughs> uh, through their interest. If they're interested in the Volvo Ocean Race, you can have a dialogue around that. You get to know each other, you start building trust, confidence, and you start building more, better business, you start building uh, new, shall I say, uh, ways of committing your, your staff because it's outside the normal office. And that's where you can actually bring it to the next level. Not just by saying this, the board has decided this, the board has decided that. The manager director is uh, telling you what to do. It's something much more human and it doesn't threat anybody. It's because it's driven by interest and nothing else. One thing that surprises me is the uh, low level of preparation when you bring in a new employee into a com company. There is no, uh, no, I shouldn't say no, but there's very few moments of making that person understand the heritage and the legacy of where this, is com where this company is coming from. Because that, that's where you build up the understanding and the commitment. That's where you start building. So you, you have to work with past, present and future to make that employee or whoever is involved in the company, even customers, get to know the company, get to know the faces behind the company, have enough time instead of just emailing person, personal contact. And I think the, the human aspect is more vital and more important than ever before because of all the quick and very, shall I say, general communication we have through the social media and emails and SMS and what have you. All of a sudden, the human aspect is more important than ever in my book. Uh, you know, if you send an SMS or an email to somebody, you read it one way. We never met before. But after you met, you read it in a totally different, different way. way. And that's how you get to know each other. That's how you build up the team factor. You start taking away the desk between the seller and the buyer. And all of a sudden we realize we have a common interest. We're not fighting each other. We do the best thing for both. Yes.